In this video, we will go through the process of cleaning the combustion chamber on a Lanair XT model waste oil heater. After recycling hundreds of gallons of used oil with your heater, or when preparing to shut down the unit for summer, remove any ash or other material from the inside of the combustion chamber to prevent corrosion and keep the heater running as efficiently as possible. It's important to follow safety guidelines when working on mechanical, plumbing, and electrical equipment. Only allow qualified technicians to work on your system and ensure that the appropriate personal protective equipment and safe practices are used throughout the work. Make sure the heater is completely cool before beginning the work. Set the thermostat to its lowest temperature setting and depress the white knob on the fan limit switch to manually turn on the circulation fan and shorten the cooling time. Once the unit is cool, ensure no power is being supplied to the heater by turning off and locking out the circuit breaker at the building's electrical panel. Begin by setting the secondary air pressure regulator to zero PSI and disconnect the air supply line from the burner. Remove the thermostat wires from the T1 and T2 terminals of the primary control. Disconnect the burner cord and fuel supply line from the burner as well. Then, remove the nuts fastening the burner assembly to the heater cabinet. From a stable working position, swing the burner away from the cabinet and carefully lift it off its hinges. Be prepared for the weight of the burner. Also remove the viewport cover from the cabinet. With the cabinet panel clear of other assemblies, Remove it from the cabinet, exposing the inner access door. Locate the eight nuts around the perimeter of the door and spray them with penetrating oil. Allow the oil to sit for five minutes before attempting to loosen the nuts. This will make their removal easier and reduce the risk of damaging the fasteners. Remove the nuts to allow the access door to open. Do not remove the four interior fasteners holding the inner insulation to the door. Use a vacuum, shovel, brush, or other appropriate tool to thoroughly remove any ash and other material from the combustion chamber, taking care not to scratch or damage the chamber or the target brick near the rear. Remove the access panel on the opposite side of the heater and repeat this process. Inspect the chimney connector as well and clean it if ash is present. Contact Lanair Customer Service for replacement gaskets for any that were removed in this process and ask for further assistance if you need to change the target brick. Never attempt to operate a unit with loose or missing access panels or gaskets. Use a bit of gasket adhesive when replacing gaskets and treat fastener threads with a high temperature anti-seize lubricant before reassembling the unit. Replace the small access panel covers and close the main access door. Loosely thread all of the nuts onto the posts of the access door. Then go around the door tightening each bolt a little bit at a time to ensure an even seal on the gasket. Reinstall the cabinet panel and mount the viewport cover and burner back onto the cabinet. Reconnect the burner cord and fuel supply line. Reconnect the thermostat wires to the T-terminals of the primary control. Reconnect the air supply line and set the secondary air pressure regulator to its initial setting. If you are servicing the unit at the end of a heating season, leave the power off over summer to avoid clogging the preheater. If you intend to return the unit to operation, restore power to the unit. Ensure that the fan limit switch has been returned to automatic mode and wait a few minutes for the preheater to warm up. The unit's heat exchanger is now clean and returned to maximum efficiency. We hope this video has been helpful in servicing your Lanair waste oil heater and helping you enjoy America's best value in heating.